Hi everybody, Lori here from Beauty Simplified by Lori, and today I wanted to show you how to do foundation, but touch a little bit more on the importance of choosing the correct color. Now, if you're going to the drugstore and just picking up something from the drugstore, it's going to be a little bit harder knowing what you need. When you're dealing with somebody with mature skin, um, like myself, we have lots of different colors that are happening on our face, on our chest, we don't want to be a floating head. All right, so make sure you take into consideration what your chest and neck look like and don't just match your face. We don't want any floating pancake heads. The other thing that's amazing about mascara, which is what I use, I'm a mascara artist. I specialize in helping mature ladies find the perfect um, colors for you because we're far more complicated than just the average 25 year old which is completely fine but it just means that we have to take into consideration a few different things so um, i'm happy to help you it's as simple as sending me a couple of selfies and i can recommend some colors for you but when you're using mascara our face is two dimension or is three dimensional right we're not one dimensional. Our makeup shouldn't be just one color anyway. So that's why mascara uses the highlight and the contour as both our foundations, okay? So in other words, you don't have to put highlight all over your face and then go back over it with contour again and then back over it again with bronzer. You only put the product where you need it and it makes one thin layer and that's why it looks so natural. So let me go ahead and just get started and I'll try and explain to you a little bit about why I use different colors. So first off, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my detail hack brush. This is kind of my favorite brush. I won't lie, I end up turning to it and I have all of the different brushes and so I really love this brush. So first off, because I have some discoloration and you would use this color as well if you had like acne or if you had like really gray circles under your eyes, this color is called Mango, okay? And it's kind of an orange color. It's this color right here. Not sure if you can see it, um, but it like does the most amazing color correcting that I have ever seen out of any of the colors, at least with the people that I have worked with. And then because my nose is so red, you guys, I go over it with the mango just really lightly, okay? Whenever you're doing any color correcting, you wanna go very, very light. And then on my chin, because I get a lot of redness there, but I could totally spot treat acne or anything with this color mango. Now, while that's warming up on my face, then I'm gonna go in with my contour. Now this is the trick, ladies, with, la with, with you ladies that have lots of different colors going on down here in your chest area. When you're choosing a contour color, whether or not it's mascaras or not, you want to try and capture some of this redness that happens down here in the chest and bring it up into your face. This is where the magic begins to happen, okay? So I actually like to use a couple of different colors of contour. I like to use stone because of the redness that goes on in my chest. And I'm gonna place it up here and then I'm just gonna kind of tap it here and I'm gonna hug right underneath that cheekbone here, okay? And then you always want to blend upwards because we wanna lift that face up, right? We're already fighting gravity as we get older, ladies, and so you want to do everything that lifts the face upwards, right? So I'm gonna tuck under that, and you're already gonna see, and you can see I didn't put highlight under that, that that's the foundation, the contour is the foundation. Now I'm gonna go up around here, up around my forehead, and I'm gonna kind of frame out more my forehead. And you can see that color very much matches this color down here on my chest, right? But we don't want my whole face to be brown. I mean, maybe if I was like tanning on a beach somewhere, then that would be okay, but this is real life. And then I like to take a little bit of contour and go down here underneath my jawline. And this is gonna create that shadow underneath my jawline. 
I'm doing a video. You ruined my video. Okay, here we go. Sorry about that interruption. Now, now I've got my contour on. I've blended it up, okay? And I'm gonna go back in with the highlight everywhere that the contour is not, okay? So I'm gonna go in with amber and I'm going to kind of go down here, kind of fan this out on my forehead, okay? Because now we're gonna put the lighter color under our eyes and this is what makes you you're brightening your your face up and your eyes up so that people look at your eyes and maybe not at like my big nose or like my big forehead or something like that so and I'm going to take the the highlight and go underneath the jawline here again anywhere where the contour is not Make sure I get my nose good because my nose likes to get red. Just like this. And you can see the coverage that I'm getting. It's so good, right? And then I'm going to take this side of my brush and I'm just going to blend it out. Now, if you have the 30 second brush, it works great. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's all personal preference. And that, my friends, is the 3D foundation. Now, this is the way I like to set it. I like to take my Stay Spray, put it on, the, on my face right here, and I know that I probably need to blend out a couple of areas, but what I like to do here is let that Stay Spray kind of um, saturate on my face and then I go in with my B squared brush and I will buff it out with this side of the, the small side of the B squared brush and just kind of make sure that I have the product blended in all around my face. And then I prefer a loose setting powder, and this is complete personal preference. Mascara has one that goes in the compact, and it's fantastic. It's called Vanilla Dust, but I like to use the um, a loose setting powder, and there's a ton on the market. This one here that I'm using is the La Mercier powder, and it just kind of helps so that things don't feel quite as sticky because sometimes I put too much product on and it feels sticky. And so um, the powder just kind of helps with that. Then I take, again, this side of the small side of my B squared brush and I go into one of my blushes. Um, I think I'm gonna go in with Desert Sunset and I'm simply going to place it right above the contour. So right on the ball of that cheek and, and follow it up. Right on the ball of the cheek and follow it up and then if I have messed up my brows I can fix them by using a contour and it's I have less product products that I need to worry about then I'm gonna go in and put right here the illuminator this is kind of one of those extra steps not a step that I do every day, but it really gives you a really pretty shine on your cheeks. You can put it right here on the top of your lip. Then if you want to do a little bit of extra, you can contour your lip or you can contour your nose. And this is kind of hard for me to see. In my phone, but that just makes my nose a little bit thinner. Put my lip color on. This is the same lip and cheek color that I just put on my cheeks. Put it on my lips. You guys, there you go. 
Now I don't have just one color, one dimension on my face. Now it captures the lightness and darkness in my chest. And this is why it's so important to make sure that you, be, you are color matched correctly is so that everything blends and it looks like your natural skin. It doesn't necessarily look like you're wearing a ton of makeup, which is kind of the goal with this makeup is to make sure that you just look naturally beautiful and it enhances your beauty. So instead of covering up your face, we want you to show off your face. And the more you use this product, the more you'll begin to love it, the more you'll begin to see the features on your face that you love. And that's what is so amazing about this makeup. If you like this video and if you found value in it, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Make sure that you've hit that little bell for notifications when I post a new video. And if you're interested in being color matched, I would love to help you. I, I love helping everybody, but I really enjoy taking care of the mature ladies out there that are a little more complicated. So thanks again for watching and we'll, we will see you soon.